Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is going to cover how to change the tweening mode of keyframes. As you probably already know, the default tweening method between any two keyframes is a standard linear tween. This means there's no curves involved, no easing in or out, and it just tweens evenly from one keyframe to the next. Here's how you can change these settings to meet your needs. Let's say, for example, we have, here's a walk animation that uses the standard linear tween in between each keyframe. And you can see we have eight evenly spaced keyframes to complete this, uh, this animation. Um, but let's say we're animating a character that also has variations of the animations to walk in different directions, like upward or downward. And in cases like that, you're almost certainly going to need to use image swapping and things like that, which is going to inherently have a sort of frame limit based on how many different images for the limbs rotating in perspective that you're going to want. So let's say your walking animation going in the up and down directions uses basically eight actual frames. So it's going to have an, uh, sort of an eight frame page flipping style of animation where it's not going to tween smoothly at whatever frame rate the, uh, your system can handle. Uh, it then might look strange if the sideways walking animations are smoothly tweened. So one thing you can do, even though you don't need to use image swapping for the sideways facing, you can just rotate the limbs as needed. You still want the animation style to match the page flipping style of the up and down walking animations. So how can you achieve that? You can achieve that by right clicking on all of your keyframes and choosing, you can see by default, it's linear. And you can change that to instant. So I'm going to do that for each of these keyframes. I'm just right clicking on the uh, keyframes to pull up that uh, little sub menu where I can pick the different modes. And if I do that for each keyframe, and now it might be hard to see uh, in the video because of the slow uh, FPS of uh, video playback, but um, now the animation only displays those eight keyframes and does not tween in between. Another really handy use for the instant mode of tweening, or I should say basically instant means no tweening at all, is for situations where there would be a problem. Um, so let's say, for example, some, some strange movement uh, of certain body parts transitioning quickly from one pose to another. This animation is a nice example. This is a very quick handmade tween to smooth out the transition in a platformer game from the walking or idle animation to climbing up a ladder. And because this animation plays extremely quickly and because it requires a massive change in perspective and therefore complete swapping of several body parts, um, it would not have been feasible to do in a tweened manner. So you'll see I have the instant, I have each keyframe set to the instant mode and I just sort of handcrafted each frame to suit the needs. And you can see it just transitions into the, uh, the first frame of the climbing up the ladder. So that's how you would do an animation like that. And finally, I'm going to show you the uh, tweening method that allows for curves, which can uh, give you effects like easing in and easing out of a given animation or motion. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to create a new animation. And we are going to just drag out one of these full frame cat images here. Put it somewhere like there. And then go all the way to the end. And we're going to rotate this cat. Like he fell backward and hit the floor. So you're going to see something like this. And you'll see if I play the animation, it's just very linear and it just evenly rotates downward, which does not look very natural for a fall. So what I'm going to do to make this uh, fall look more natural is right click and choose custom 
here. And then by default, it's set to linear, which is the standard uh, tweening mode, but I'm going to choose 1D speed curve. As you can see, there are options to choose how many control points I have. Uh, two is uh, plenty for this circumstance. So I'm just going to set the curve like this and we'll click apply. And now you'll see when I play this animation, the fall starts more slowly. As you can see, very little movement is happening for the first nearly half of the, uh, of the duration of the animation. And then the falling really picks up speed as we reach the, uh, the end of the animation. So you, that would be basically an ease in. So uh, that's the basics of how that work. As you can see, there's a lot of options for sophisticated uh, curves for easing in and easing out. If you wanted something to ease out instead of ease in, which would mean that it would start fast and then slow down near the end, you can see uh, it's very fast at the beginning and then the entire second half of the animation only covers a short distance So it looks like that it really eases into place and Movements like that or tweening or curves like that are extremely useful When you're doing things like having UI elements slide onto the screen. You don't want them to come to an abrupt stop you would want them to um, come in fast and then ease nicely into place so uh, that's the basics of it. Obviously, as you saw, there are a lot of options to play with. And uh, after a little play, you'll, you'll figure out how um, curves in certain directions affect the easing in or easing out. Uh, and there's uh, Bezier uh, controls as well, which can really give you an incredible amount of control over the exact um, shape of your curves for your easing or your tweening. So that's it. Um, have fun playing with that. Do be careful with any of uh, Spider's more advanced features. If you're going to be making a lot of animations and you're using a Spider implementation for any particular authoring system, you should make sure that that Spider implementation supports these particular features before you use them because you might end up making animations that uh, are using uh, features that are not yet supported with that particular implementation, so something to be careful of. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.